Hey everyone, this is Ben with RegisteredNurseRN.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to multiply and divide decimal numbers. And again, this will be on those ATITs, maybe the HESI, maybe the SAT and ACT examinations. Usually you cannot use a calculator and so you're going to want to know how to work these out by hand. So this is just a quick refresh and we will have a free quiz for you at the end of this video if you want to test your knowledge. Now there's a couple of quick mnemonics that I've created for both multiplication and division because they are slightly different beasts. But first of all, we'll work some multiplication problems. And the mnemonic here is REC, R-E-C. And you can remember that by the phrase rabbits eat carrots. That's a little way to remember that. And basically, first of all, you wanna remove the decimals because the decimals make it look complicated. So we wanna just get rid of the decimals. Then we execute the problem just by multiplying it out just like we would an ordinary multiplication problem. And then finally, the C stands for count the original decimal places in the original two numbers and then add that back to the actual problem and to the answer and then we're done. So let's go ahead and work a multiplication problem to show you how this works. First of all, we have a problem here which states simplify the expression 6.32 times 3.41. So following the first part of our mnemonic here, the R, we remove the decimal. So we're just going to pretend like those decimals don't exist. So 6.32 becomes 632, and then 3.41 becomes 341. Now the next part is E for execute. So we're going to go ahead and solve this problem just like we would work out any ordinary multiplication problem. So how we do this is you always start with the bottom number and you start with the number on the right and you multiply it by each number, carry it down. Then you do the next number and you move it over one digit and et cetera until you finish all the numbers and then you simply add up those columns and I'll show you how to do that. So first off, we'll start with the one. So one times two is two. One times three is three. And then one times six is six. Okay, that's our first one. Next, we move to the second number. Four times two is eight. And remember, we move one digit over for each subsequent number. So the eight's gonna go under the three. Four times three is 12. Now for 12, we only carry the two down, but we put the one up here on the next one. And then we say four times six is 24, and then add that one, which makes 25. And that's our last number in this row. So we go ahead and carry down the whole 25. Okay, now we'll erase our little one here so that doesn't confuse us on the next one because now we got to do this three. So three times two is going to give us six. Again, we move one column over. So we put that there. Um, three times three is going to give us nine. So we move that here. And then three times six is going to give us 20, or I'm sorry, 18. So we go ahead and plug that up there like so. Now we can draw our line and we can go ahead and add these numbers down for each column. So in this and it's again you might want to draw some lines just to keep you straight because it's real easy to get messed up here as you're adding these columns so a two go ahead and drag that down eight plus three is going to give us eleven we just put the ones digit and carry the one up here six plus one is seven plus two is nine plus six is going to give us fifteen so we carry the five and carry the one up here nine plus five is fourteen plus one is fifteen so we put the five there and carry the one here. Eight plus two is 10, plus one is 11. It's gonna be a one and we carry the one here. And then one plus one is two. So our answer is two, one, five, five, one, two. But we're not done yet because we see here, we have one more part, which is the C. We have to count those original decimal places and then put those in here. So we go here and we start from right to left and we say, how many decimal places is this? one, two, so that number has two decimal places. And then we do it for both numbers. This one has one, two as well. So we just add those up. That gives us four decimal places. So to finish this off, we just come down here to our problem and we put a decimal four places over. So we say one, two, three, four, boom. Our answer is 21.5512. And that's how we solve that one. Okay, we'll go ahead and work another one of these problems just to make sure you have it down. So this problem says simplify the expression 4.53 times six times 12.2. And again, we're gonna follow our mnemonic here. And the first part says we remove the decimals, but since this actually has three parts to it, it would be easier just to multiply two of these numbers, get the answer, and then multiply that answer by the third number. So that's what we'll do. We'll just focus on this part first. 
and we'll multiply this out. So we're going to remove the decimals and set up the problem. So instead of 4.53, it's going to be 453 times 6. Okay, so we'll go ahead and work this out. 6 times 3 is 18. So we put the 8 here, carry the 1. 6 times 5 is 30, plus the 1 gives us 31. So we carry the 1 here and then carry the 3 here. And then 6 times 4 is going to be 24, plus 3, 27. And because that's the last number, we carry the whole 27 down. Okay, now we find out where to put our decimal. And the 6 doesn't have a decimal. It's just a simple whole number. So there's zero decimals in that one. But this is 4.53. So let's count our decimal places. We got 1, 2. So we got two decimal places. 2 plus 0 is 2. So we move our decimal place uh, two places over and that will be our answer. So we start at the right and say one, two, then our answer is 27.18 for this one. Now let's plug that up and finish our problem because now it's going to be 27.18 times the last part of our problem here, 12.2. So let's go ahead and let's work this out. Okay, so again, following our mnemonic, we remove the decimals. Always put the larger number on top when you're putting this multiplication together. So we're going to have 2718 times 12.2 or 122 is what that's going to be. All right, now let's go ahead and solve this. 2 times 8 is going to give us 16. We put the 6 there, but carry the 1. 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3, so we put the 3 there. 2 times 7 is going to give us 14. We put the 4, but carry the 1 to the next number. And then 2 times 2 is 4. 4 plus 1 is 5. So our first line is 5, 4, 3, 6. We'll erase our little ones here so we don't get confused. Next number is another 2. So basically it's going to be that exact same number. But remember, you always start one digit over to the left. So 2 times, two, or two times 8 is going to give us 16. We put the 6, carry the 1 here. 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3, so we put the 3. 2 times 7 is going to give us 14, so we put the 4 there and carry the 1. And then 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5, and we have 5, 4, 3, 6 again, but it's moved over one digit. And then our last number here is the 1, so let's go ahead and multiply this out. 1 times 8 is going to give us 8. Again, we move over one digit from the one before. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 7 is 7, and 1 times 2 is 2. Now, we got to add all these up, and because we're dealing with three different rows here, it helps to kind of draw it out into columns so you can stay straight and you don't add the wrong numbers together. That's the way I usually do it. Okay, so let's add the numbers in each column here. So this is just a 6, so we'll carry that down. 3 plus 6 is 9, we'll carry that down. 8 plus 3 gives us 11, plus 4 gives us 15. Put the 5 there, but we carry the 1. Uh, 5 plus 1 is 6, plus 4 is 10, plus 1 is 11. We put the 1 there and carry that. 7 plus 5 is going to give us 12, plus 1 is going to give us 13. So we put the 3 there, carry the 1 there, and then 2 plus 1 is 3. So that's our answer, but we got to find out where to put the decimal. We go back up here to our problem. We got one, two places there and one place there. So two plus one is going to give us three decimal places. So we start at the right, we say one, two, three, boom. Our answer here is 331.596. That's our answer for that. So that's how you solve it. It's literally that easy. Okay, now let's do a few division problems with decimal places so you can understand how that works. And for this, I have a mnemonic, which is MUD, M-U-D. A way you can remember that is that Mary understands division. That's a way you can remember MUD. But the M in MUD stands for first, you move the decimal in the divisor to the right, however many places you have to move it until you get a whole number. So in a standard division problem, it's gonna look like this. This number is the divisor. This number is the dividend. And whatever number you get at the top, that's called your quotient. And so the first part, M, stands for move the decimal place in the divisor, which is this number, to the right, however many times to get a whole number. So this is 1.2. If we move it just one time, that'll give us 12. It's a whole number, and we're done. So it just took one time to move that there. The next step is U for you use the same number of decimal places in the divisor to move the dividend decimal place. And then you also put that up for the quotient. 
So since we move that one in the divisor, we go here to our dividend and we just simply move that decimal place over one time. And since we did it there, we go ahead and put that same spot for the quotient. And then the last part, the D stands for just simply divide the problem out. And so our new problem is gonna look like this. It's gonna be 12, 0 0.36 with a decimal there and a decimal there. Now, whenever you have a zero at the front of a number, that's the same as just saying, like if you have like zero eight, that's the same as just saying eight. So we'll just go ahead and erase that zero out because that's just a little bit confusing. So we'll just get that out of there and we'll just put 12 going into 3.6. That'll make things a little bit easier, okay? So 12 will go into three, zero times, um, zero times 12 is gonna be zero. Three minus zero is going to give us three. Will 12 go into three? No, it won't. So we're gonna have to carry the six down. Will 12 go into 36? Yes, so we go to our next place up here. It'll go three times. Three times 12 is 36. So 36 minus 36 is zero. We are done. So the answer for this problem is 0 0.3. So 0 0.36 divided by 1.2 is 0 0.3. Okay, let's take a look at another problem here and we have divide 0 0.5 into 0 0.860. You always gotta pay attention to the wording on these problems. When it says divide 0 0.5 into this, what it's saying is you put the 0 0.5 here and then you put the 0 0.860 there. Now let's take a look at our mnemonic to remember how we solve this. In the first part, the M stands for we move the decimal place in our divisor, which is this number, over to the right, however many places we have to until we get a whole number. So 0 0.5, if we move it over one time, we'll have five and we're done. The next part, the next part which is the U, stands for you use the number of decimal places you used here to move this decimal over. So we did it once here, we're gonna do it once here, and that's gonna be our new decimal place. And we go ahead and we put that up for the quotient as well. And then the D stands for we go ahead and divide the problem. So we'll go ahead and do this, but first let's redraw it out. We'll say five, because again, anytime you have like a zero and a five, that's the same thing as just saying five. You don't have to carry that zero over because it's the same thing. So it'll be five. And then this part, we move the decimal place, it would be zero, 8.60, but again, we don't need to carry that zero over because it's the same thing as saying 8.6. So we'll just say 8.60, and we'll put that decimal place up there. Now, we'll go ahead and solve this problem. Five will go into eight, how many times? One. Five times one is five, okay? And that's gonna give us three. We say eight minus five equals three. Okay, will five go into three? No, it won't go into three, so we're gonna to have to carry this number down. We carry our six down. Will five go into 36? The answer is yes, it will go into 36 seven times. So we put our seven here. Seven times five is 35. Okay, we subtract 36 minus 35, and that's gonna give us one. Will five go into one? No, so then we carry our final number down, which is zero. Will five go into 10? Yes, it will. How many times two? Two times five is 10. 10 minus 10 is zero. We are done with this problem. Our answer is 1.72. So 0 0.5 will go into 0 0.860 1.72 times. Okay, so I'll work one more of these decimal problems out just to make sure you have it down. And this one is divide 0 0.820 by 0 0.06. So this is gonna be the divisor and this is gonna be the dividend. Let's go ahead and set this problem up. It would look like this, 0 0.06 going into 0 0.820. Now we refer to our mnemonic here, which is MUD, and the M in MUD stands for we move the decimal place in the divisor, which is this number, to the right, however many places to make it a whole number. So we're gonna have to move it two places, one, two, to get it a six. So it's two places we've moved it. And the, the U stands for we use that same number that we used in the divisor to move the decimal over here. So we moved it two here, so we're gonna move it two here. And that's gonna be our new decimal place and we'll get rid of that. And we also just make sure to put that up for the quotient. Now, we can go ahead and divide this out, which is the last part of MUD, but we'll go ahead and we'll rewrite it out first because that'll help us to stay straight. And we'll clean this up a little bit because now we've moved that decimal place over. So it's gonna be 006, that's our new one. Anytime, again, you have zeros in front of a whole number, 006 is the same way as saying six. So we'll just get rid of those zeros because they're not necessary. We'll put our six there. 
and this new number is 082.0. So again, we don't need this zero in front of the whole number. It just makes it look sloppy. Let's just get rid of that, and we'll say 82.0. And again, just keep your decimal place straight on the quotient part up there. Now, we'll go ahead and solve this. Six will go into eight how many times? One. So we put the one here. One times six is going to give us six. So we subtract eight minus six is going to give us two. Okay, six won't go into two. We carry down our two here. Six will go into 22. How many times? It will go three. So we put our three here. Three times six is going to give us 18. Okay, 22 minus 18 is going to give us four. Six won't go into four. So we're going to carry down our zero here. Um, and that's gonna make 40. So will six go into 40? Yes, how many times? It'll go six times. So we put the six here. Six times six is 36. 40 minus 36 is going to give us four. Okay, so we have 3.6 and we have a four left over. Now we could theoretically put a zero here and bring that down and that's gonna give us 40 again. The answer would again be six because six times six will give us 36, but then we're gonna have four left over again and we go through this on and on and on, and it would keep being 666 repeat. So our answer is going to be 3.66 repeat, or if you wanted to round up, you could say 13.67 if you wanted to round it. But that's going to be our answer for that one. Okay, so that's how you multiply and divide numbers with decimal places. Again, we'll put a link to a free quiz on our website if you want to test your knowledge and do this by hand. Also, we have a whole playlist of math lectures, and we'll put a link in that in the description as well. You may want to check that out if you're preparing for the ATI, HESI, ACT, SAT, etc. Thank you so much for watching, and please subscribe.